I'm Rick Johansson, and this is Iron Echo Design. In this Inkscape tutorial, I'm gonna show you one of the more hidden features, tiled clones, and we'll do some mosaic tracing. I was actually inspired by this Killers album cover. I really liked how they had all the circles created the whole image. And on this channel, and just for fun, I like to reverse engineer things. A lot of times I ask for your input, um, but this time it's just something I wanted to try for myself. This is what I came up with. I'm sure there's some other techniques, but Basically, we're gonna use, let me show you actually an example. If you've never used tiled clones, you go to edit, clone, create tiled clones. And the intimidating part is the menu looks very complicated. You have lots of different tabs. What the heck is simple translation? Don't worry about any of that. Leave it just the way it is. Change your rows and columns to whatever you feel like. For this example, we're doing five and five make sure that you have the actual object selected. So I'm selecting this circle and we'll do create. And you can see it made five rows, five columns. Super simple, okay? That was your, that was your quick course. Now, how do we do the tracing feature? Let's first remove those. And instead, we'll create a new circle. I'll make it very, very small. And this you may not have seen before. Go to Object, Fill and Stroke. You don't have to have a set color. If I have the fill on flat color, right now it's blue, let's do the question mark. Unset Paint. And that means it will adopt whatever we tell it to. Okay, that's the first important part. This little black circle is now unset. Let's go back to the Create Tiled Clones. Remember, it's at Clone create tiled clones. Don't worry about anything else. Look at this right here, trace, hit trace. Trace the drawing under the clones, okay? Now we'll pick the color of the drawing and we're gonna apply it to the color of the clone. You got me? And we'll do, maybe we'll do, just for an example, 25 by 25, create. Do you see what it did? It actually took the little clone and said, what's underneath it? I'll become that color. That is the absolute basics. Let's build on that and I'll show you how you can make it more organic looking. So it's more, see how this is varied? They're not perfect circles. Let's go to a new Inkscape. And this right here for reference, this is the A4 template. If you wanna play along with the same scale that we're doing, go to File, Document Properties, and just go to A4. This is an image from public domain. It's the Great Wave of Kanagawa. I thought it would be an interesting project to do. Let's first get the circle tool and we'll make our original clone. You can experiment with the size. I'm going to change this circle object into a path by doing path, object to path. That's gonna let me go to the node tool and see the nodes that popped up. Click on one of them, and when you see the handles, warp it a little bit, just enough so it's not a perfect circle. Now, if you're playing along at home and when you do this process, it doesn't adopt the colors, it could be because you're forgetting this one step. With the object selected, let's go to Object, Fill and Stroke. Stroke should be nothing. And the Fill tab, it could be set to black and trick you. Instead, change it to Unset paint. Looks the same, but now it's going to adopt whatever's underneath it. I'll put it on the corner of the picture. We'll go up to Edit, Clone, Create Tiled Clones, and let's reset everything. I want to go as if it's the first time you're doing it. So when you open up the menu, you'll see it'll be on the Symmetry tab, P1 Simple Translation. Keep that the same. Shift, don't mess around with that. Scale, Let's do something here. For scale X and scale Y, why don't we make it a random change in size by 25%. And you have to do both. If you only do one, it'll warp the object. So 25% X, 25% Y. Rotation, let's add a variation there too. We'll randomize that 25% again. Just so we'll spin a little bit as it goes through. And here's the big trick, trace. Select trace the drawing under the clones. We wanna pick the color apply it to the color of the new clone. And let's just run a 50-50 and see how far it gets us on the image. Create. 
That's cool. Okay, so we need longer than 50-50. You can do control Z to get those clones off. Why don't we try 75 rows and we'll do 100 columns. Create. Whoops. Oh no, you could do this at home. I'll keep this in. I have the image selected. You see how I didn't have the clone selected? I had the image selected. And this is going to crash us. Well, we crashed and I'm keeping it in because if it happens to you and you're wondering why it's not working, it could be you don't have the original clone selected. So let's bring in the wave image again, starting over. We'll make our circle. And I know it's selected. Pull up clone, create tiled clones. I repositioned it so we can see the full effect. Nothing changed, but I'll run through it real quick again. Symmetry, P1, the scale, 25%, 25% XY, rotation, 25%. Trace has to be on, trace the drawing underneath the clones, color, apply it to the color. And this time we'll do 75 rows, 100 columns. Create, oh, I didn't, again, I almost forgot to click on the original clone. Create, there we go. That's good, that's what I wanted. If you go over a little bit, no worries. Just click and drag over the clones that you don't want and delete, click and drag, delete. And let's go in. I'm going to show you two ways you can vary it now organically. First, we'll take the original clone that we want. We'll put this here. Looks like for some reason Inkscape put on a small stroke. So let's get rid of that. I can stay on the clone itself. You don't have to get all of these. And I go to stroke, and now it's gone. You see? That's the whole point. You can make changes to the original, and it affects all of the clones. Let's now get rid of the underlying. That's pretty good. That is pretty interesting like that. I might save this. I like that the way it is. Okay, even though this looks good the way it is, if you want to space it out more, see how they overlap a little bit? There's an easy way, which is just simply click on the original, reduce the size, see, like that. But I like this other way, so I'll do Control Z to put it back. There it is, went back. Instead, check out this trick. I'm not sure if this is common knowledge. I'm gonna grab all of them and let's open up the Align and Distribute menu. It's this icon here, or go to Object, Align and Distribute. Check this out. A lot of us have used this part, centering the stuff up. Look at this, Remove Overlapped. It's just sitting right there. And the H is the minimum pixel amount on the horizontal. V is the minimum pixel amount on the vertical gap, and this thing icon is the actual execute the function i'll click it please no oh, look at that it did it i think that's i mean it definitely looks like it's more like vintage maybe it's been in the ground for a long time and the mosaics kind of move but i like it better like this so that's pretty much it what do you just what do you think do you prefer the quick version just reduce the original clone. Do you like it like this? You can put a different background on it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or if there's something you'd like to see done in Inkscape. And we'll see you next time.